Well, Israel intensified its attacks on uh, Khan Yunis city today and also over the past uh, days. Talking about some uh, highlights, the Israeli forces bombed um, the neighborhoods in eastern Khan Yunis like Azanna, Khuza'a, Jortilut, and this have been happening for the past three days. The Israeli forces bombed uh, whole neighborhoods in eastern uh, Khan Yunis at the same time and in a, a recent attack that happened just a few hours ago, the Israeli forces in a series is really a strike targeted the Al Amal hospital which is located in the heart of the city of uh, Khan Yunis at the same time Israeli warplanes continued their attacks on buildings surrounding the Al Nasser hospital the Al Nasser hospital is actually one of Gaza's biggest hospitals it is located in the city of uh, Khan Yunis there we have uh, thousands of people uh, displaced people medical staff journalists patients and over the past days, they did not even manage to evacuate from the hospital due to the very um, intense situations uh, around the uh, hospital. And they are asking themselves a very important question. Will the al Nasser hospital be next? Will the Israeli troops actually storm into the al Nasser uh, hospital? Just like what happened in the Ashifa hospital, Kamal Adwan hospital, the Indonesian hospital. And this uh, Israeli action targeting the hospitals in Gaza brought 23 hospitals uh, in the Gaza Strip from its north to the south to uh, close their doors. They are out of uh, service. Even the Ashifa Hospital, even though uh, they withdraw from the Ashifa Hospital now, however, the hospital is now operating only as a camp and a shelter for displaced people. And nor there are reports of a leaflet drop in the south of Gaza calling for help in locating Israeli hostages. Well, yes, this morning the Israeli drones uh, threw some uh, leaflets on the city of uh, Khan Yunis and also here in uh, Rafah. The paper had the photos of the Israeli hostages asking Palestinian civilians here on the ground if they can identify anyone to report it to the uh, IDF, leaving uh, numbers and email or websites where people can go and report um, that they saw or they, th that they know the location of the hostage. How However, this is something uh, very close to impossible. People here on the ground, the civilians, they know nothing about the hostages. Actually, there is a unit called the Wahdat al and it translates into the shadow unit. Uh, it is a unit in the al qassam brigades, which is the militant wing for Hamas. They are responsible of protecting the uh, hostages and taking care of them, and this is not something new. Uh, but uh, going back to the uh, shadow unit, no one actually knows who who they are, where uh, they are. But Israel used this technique before here in Gaza back in 2006 when Gilad Shalit was abducted uh, back in 2014, talking about Hadar Golden and Arul Sharon. But these techniques did not uh, work. And here Hamas uh, are sending a very important message to Israel and also to the world that it is uh, impossible to get to the hostages unless uh, there is a clear uh, prisoners exchange deal here uh, between Gaza and Israel.